Welcome back to the podcast where we ask the question, what makes you happy? My name is Jake Pearson and our guest today is a three-time terminal cancer overcomer as well as an international small business entrepreneur. They've also overcome hip bone cancer, lung cancer, and pancreatic cancer, which has less than a 5% chance of survival. They're currently living 19 months cancer-free, which is absolutely incredible. And it is a pleasure to have Trent Brock from Rogers, Arkansas today here with us. How are you, Trent? I'm great, man. Thanks for having me, Jake. Really appreciate it. I'm really grateful to have you here today to talk about all the things that make you happy. So Trent, the floor is yours. What makes you happy? Well, I, I you know, I think it's pretty simple for me. Um, being alive, <laughs> you know, quite simply, um, it, you know, it, it's, it's kind of one of those things where you, you don't really know what you had until you don't have it anymore. It's that old cliche, right? And it's, it's really the simple things in life that make that, that I realized that I didn't appreciate and I took for granted that I really appreciate now, like walking, being able to take my own plate to the table, um, you know, being a white metal bum, you know, things like that. And I, I think we all get into a, into a bit of a routine of, of taking things for granted. Um, but, but I realize how precious life is now, you know, with, with, with the, um, with the challenges that I've had with cancer. And, um, you know, sometimes I still get caught up in the rat race of things, but I always come back to, Hey, you know, you're still here. You're still here for a reason. And, uh, you, you know, you have you have a different purpose now. Yeah. And can you talk us through, I guess, that the cancers, the individual cancers there, what's had the taught you the most when going through the whole process of overcoming that? Well, um, the hip cancer was the first one. Okay. And so they had to remove all of my pelvis and all my bone and tissue and things basically from my spine over. So that left, that left my, my left leg shorter than my right leg. And so basically that, that, that put me handicapped. That's quite tough to deal with. It's a constant daily, almost to the minute reminder that, you know, this is what it is. And, uh, the lung cancer, you know, that, that was just, you know, that was a typical surgery. There's nothing too crazy about that one, but the pancreas thing, that's a death sentence. And uh, people don't make it through that. I had um, five different surgeons from my orthopedic to my lung surgeon to several oncologists, everything. Told me, you know, you're not going to make it through this. You need to plan your exit, figure out what you're going to do for for the year that you have left. And uh, that's going to be that's going to be it for you. That was tough. That was tough to deal with. And I accepted that for a while. And then I decided, you know what? These guys, they're practicing medicine. They don't know me necessarily. They they know what they've learned. They have their experiences from previous patients, but they don't know who I am. And that began to change my mindset. And I made a decision that I just wasn't going to die on my parents. I just wasn't going to do it. And so what am I going to do to 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 fix that? So, you know, I begin to change everything that you need to in your life, right? Your health, your diet, your exercise, your mental outlook, your spiritual outlook. And, and, in, and in turn, that changes your feelings and your emotions and your outlook on everything. Yeah, I love that. And what would you want for our audience, our listeners, our YouTube watchers to take away from your story? Well, what, what I would say is go off in a place that you love to be in, right? That you feel good in, a, a place all by yourself and have a good think all by yourself about what? Is there something that's making you unhappy? And if there is, what is that? And what can you do to change that? Do you eliminate it? Do you need to change yourself? What do you need to do about that? So you need to get some, you, you need to think about what makes you unhappy and get rid of that. And then on the other hand, what are the things that really make you happy? And, and that's, that's what I figured out with a lot of self-reflection. Cause I'll tell you, when you think you have a year left, you think about everything. You think about what you've done, what you're going to do, what you're going to do with your time left. And I thought, you know, what I really enjoy is, you know, helping people and that small thank you that you get, not often, but every once in a while that you get. And that's what really is the thing that keeps me going. Trent, thank you so much for imparting, I guess, your story, your insights, your wisdom. And I just want to offer you on behalf of uh, what makes you happy audience, a big congratulations for making it this far, 19 months 
cancer free that is absolutely incredible i hope for the rest of your life you never have to deal with that shit ever again no doubt man and hey you know what in 38 months i'll come back and tell you that's where i'm at that's where you're at beautiful trent looking forward to seeing your progress as the the time goes thank you so much for sharing all things that make you happy we really appreciate it thank you jack i appreciate your time thanks for listening to the podcast we hope it gives you something to think about on your quest to discover what makes you happy make sure to check out what makes you happy podcast.com to connect with today's guest and follow us on all our social media platforms and to stay up to date at what's happening next and what makes you happy don't forget to share this episode with a friend and we'll see you next time